Over the next few videos, we're going to be looking at how we can take functions and express them as power series. Now, there's a few different ways we can do this, and in this video in particular, we're going to focus on one technique, and this uses geometric series to help us write some functions as power series. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, let's first of all remember what a geometric series looks like. This was the sum from 0 to infinity of a times r to the n, as you well know, and you'll likely remember that these guys converge if the r is between plus or minus 1. And if this does converge, the geometric series test was one of the few tests that actually told me what those terms added up to, what it converged to, and that com uh, converged to a over 1 minus r. Now here's what we're going to do though. We're going to use the same idea but for power series. Meaning like if we have a function that basically resembles a over 1 minus r, it doesn't matter if r is a, a constant or a variable. As long as this r is between plus or minus 1, this will be the same as this infinite series. So if you had a series like this, a over 1 minus r, then we can actually write this guy as a summation. So we have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a times r to the n. So what, what we just did here was we took a function of x and wrote it as a power series. And so granted you, you might look at this and say, well Devin, we, we got awfully fortunate that this fit such a perfect template and I would agree with you. Um, we can only use this method if our functions look like this. If your functions don't look like this, then you have to use another technique that we'll cover in some later video. But if your function happens to have this form to it, then we can kind of backtrack the way the geometric series test worked and write it as a series rather than a standalone function. So this is, this is how, we, how we write a function as a geometric power series. Now, it gets, does get a, a little bit trickier than this because there's two things in particular we're going to have to look out for. All right, so a couple notes. Number one, uh, it's very possible that we might have to adjust the function to center wherever we want it to be centered at. Um, this particular power series here, you'll notice it, it just happened to be centered at zero, and I hope we were okay with that because it, it was centered at zero. And we did not really have a choice in the matter. But what if somebody says, okay, I would like a power series representation of this function that's centered at three, not zero. Well, then this conversion obviously wouldn't work because this particular power series isn't centered at three. So what you would have to do is somehow adjust the way that you wrote this function, and I'm not gonna go into a lot of those details in this video, but for instance, this x couldn't be x. It would need to be something along the lines of x minus three instead of x uh, in order to be centered at three. But if you, if you can't just arbitrarily put a minus three in here, that's going to affect other parts of the function. And so we'll have to have an example where we talk about how to manipulate this function around to make it centered wherever we want it centered so that we can still get a power series representation for the function but centered wherever we want it centered. All right, and the other thing is uh, in, the, in light of changing all these things around and where it's centered and those sorts of things, it's very common that your, your a over 1 minus r, the 1 often gets messed up and maybe it turns into a 5 or a 2 or a whatever. And that's actually a big deal. That actually messes up quite a lot. So you have to make sure that this stays a over 1 minus r. The a could be any constant. The r could be any function of x. It doesn't, that doesn't matter. But this 1 has to stay 1. And uh, so we we're going to have to have another example where we practice uh, manipulating this function around again so that we keep this term a 1. So to keep this video somewhat short, um, I'm actually going to stop this video here, uh, but right after this video we will go through some more involved examples where we have to deal with a couple of those issues where we write geometric power series uh, for certain functions where we have to fix the center and also possibly adjust for this a over 1 minus r, adjust the 1.